going to work in my holiday art journal today. I'm really happy with how the pages are coming along. This is the Halloween page. Another Halloween page. And then I did a Christmas decoration page. I might put some more lettering on here or maybe a tag documenting that every year I make Christmas ornaments. I'm ready to do the next page. Shall I work on the back of this one? I think that I will. Let me show you what I have in mind. I was at the thrift store. I love going to thrift stores. You just never know what you're going to find. This will go quite nice. Now, hold your breath, because when I saw this, I had to hold my breath. Here we go. Isn't that beautiful? This is original needlework. This is not a print. This it, It's done on Aida cloth or Ada cloth. It's not done on high count linen, but it's done very nice. The the piece is not signed. It's probably not finished. Here it is, another piece of unfinished needlework that I found at the thrift store. How could I resist this? It's just beautiful. And the stitching on the back, it's very well done. Whoever did this put many, many hours of work into it. I love it. Now, it's a bride, but I want it for Christmas. And yes, I am going to put it in my art journal. So what I think that I'm going to do is I'm going to finish this page with gold. And I think the gold will just be back background color, uh, more of an underpainting type thing. And what I want to do is it's a bride. Now I could say yes. It could be a Christmas bride. The fabric is, of course, wrinkly, but once, and I am going to collage it down. I know my needlework friends are going, ah, you're going to paste it down. But never fear, I am going to use Liquitex Matte Medium. This is acid free. This is used in art journaling. This, I just do not think this will harm this piece any more than if it were stuck at the bottom of a drawer. And here it will be in my art journal, and it will be a part of a, of a piece that will be looked at. And even on my video, it's being highlighted. I'm going to go into fast forward, and let's turn this beautiful stitched bride into a Christmas angel. can see I cut the edges off of that fabric. I rough cut them. That's okay because, well, you'll see as I go. But I'm going to save these pieces. Maybe I'll put them in other parts of this holiday art journal. Who knows what I'll do with this. Now I know you're dying to see what I did. Okay, well, here goes. Here it is. Now, what am I going to do? I did cut this larger. Let's flip it over this way. I cut it larger so that it would fit clear across the page. I'm going to, and I want to show you where I have no trepidation. That word trepidation is fear of cutting into this piece because it really is not a finished piece. If you look at the stitches here, You'll see these are half stitches. These are half stitches here. There's some half stitches down here. So whoever was stitching this did not get it completely finished. But that's okay. It's finished enough. Now the other thing that I found was this button cover. I kind of like it because, well, my art journal is going to be very dimensional anyway. 
And I think I'm going to put it right here. Look at that. Now, what am I going to do in here? Do I want the stitches to show or do I want the background to show? I really am thinking that I'm going to distress the background of this fabric. just saw me collage this down now I'm gonna let this dry because you can see it's wet in the background I'm gonna let this dry and then I'm gonna come back and work with it okay this is where I am at on this I've distressed the background of this fabric it's still drying in some spots but I'm gonna let that continue to dry I have frayed the edges I'm very happy with this. This is going to be kind of like a tattered Christmas angel page. But right now what I'm going to do is I want to put some more gold in the background here. Now, while this is drying, I want to show you, I found this, looks like a sofa chair cover, but it's a cut work piece. And you can get these at garage sales or at bargain bins or at thrift stores. And yes, I'm going to cut into this. I don't have the lace that I'd like to have to make her wings. But I think that I can make her some wings out of this. how this is taking shape. I have this button cover. I have a little backing on it. And I took some of this rayon ribbon and I made a tassel out of it and I'm going to glue that down into the button cover right like that and then snap it shut and glue it to my Christmas angel. I also have some beads that I'm going to glue around her head in here, and I have some stars, little star plaid buttons, and little heart plaid buttons, and some red trim that I'm going to put down here.
Okay, here it is. It's finished. It's wet. The paint is very wet yet, so I can't can't handle it too much. I'm just going to let it lay flat. I'm really happy with it. The only thing I don't have on here is some journaling. I want to put Christmas Angel someplace on here, but I can't do that while it's still wet. So I'm going to go ahead and let this dry and look for the right words to do the journaling. But basically, I'm pretty happy with how I altered this piece. I think it makes a very nice addition to my holiday art journal. I will see you on the next page.